Phoenix. Hi guys, welcome to BDM After Patch, where we give you the short game plan for the week, discuss update details, and take a look at what we can expect in future updates. Please do like and subscribe for weekly videos. Once you log in, take a look at the Mystic Launch Shop and make good use of it. Also collect your first reward for the Mystic Premium Login Event. New maps have been released along with new story quests and a new item called the Root of Sorcery. Go through the main quest to unlock the new Gavel Boss Rush which gives defense CP. Mystic has been released along with the regular level up event so spend some time to reach level 70 with this class. There is a Merchantry event where you get rewards for your Merchantry level. Do take the time to get these rewards if you haven't reached level 40 yet. The new Moretti Sack Treasure has been released and it gives you infinite dog food to feed all the dogs you play with. Balance changes that have been put on hold for the last few weeks have been implemented. Although not mentioned in the list of buffed classes, Serbianko says that the Void Knight has been buffed as well. In particular, Lotus, Huntress, and Void Knight received their passives. Players will also be receiving a free class change. In more minor changes, new hairstyles have been released for individual classes. Korean servers got two new maps to explore, and these maps appear larger than other maps we have experienced previously, along with a new world boss called Ahib's Griffin. Pearl Abyss is really focusing on balance now releasing another large-scale balance patch, in particular Lancer class improving its farming ability, Windwalker gaining a passive granting her improvements to her mobility, PvP damage, and critical damage, as well as grab immunity to one of her skills. Archer also gained a new passive that basically adds 10% damage, 10% monster damage, and an interesting 2% damage based on the target's hit points. Assassin received his passive as well, increasing his damage over time effect and improving the mechanics of several of his skills. Next week is Korean Thanksgiving so Korean servers will not be getting their usual weekly update but all in all it's great to see balance being the focus of what was an incredibly unbalanced few weeks. The official BDM YouTube channel uploaded a video where the head design developer Mr. Ryan Kang was sharing the development process since the Heidel Ball event. To be honest it was a bit awkward to see a developer try to act natural through a scripted interview but we have to appreciate his dedication to the game. Oh. 말씀해 주신 부분에 공감해서 That was him finally announcing a fix for the Tower of Trials notifications blocking our view and I thought it was worth noting that he mentioned potential improvements to the Black Spirit mode system where you would automatically go into BSM mode when you go offline or get disconnected. In addition to that he did share a rough idea of when we will be receiving new regions, primal totems, two stand for new emblems, a second chaos rift and hinted at a new male caster class coming before the end of this year. Maybe Sage maybe wizard leave a comment about which one you would prefer that's the summary for this week a lot of work goes into making these videos so please do like and subscribe for more content like this and i hope you have a great week ahead